everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing one of my most requested videos on my Instagram, on YouTube, since I started my blog way back in 2015. The video that I'm talking about is my everyday makeup routine, my five minute makeup routine, whatever you wanna call it. But basically, I have a really quick, simple, easy makeup that I do for myself whenever I'm going to work or I wanna put on some quick makeup for a video or something like that. Before we start, I just wanna remind you to go ahead and give the subscribe button a click hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video, and give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it. If you wanna follow me on social media, I'm gonna link my Instagram and my Twitter down below. I am most active on Instagram. You can always be in the know of what I'm doing over there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, I am going to tie my hair. ponytail. I, inspired by Kathleen Lights, I got this little cat diadem that I have used for Halloween ever since I got it. And we are going to start with moisturizer. So for about a year or so now, I have used the Tatcha Silk Cream Moisturizer. And I really enjoy this moisturizer. I'm about to run out on mine, but I've also been trying a new moisturizer from L'Oreal. It was sent to me by Influencer just to check it out and review it on their site. And it's their L'Oreal Revitalist Moisturizer. And I actually really, really do enjoy it. So I'm going to be using this one today. What I like about this moisturizer is that it is kind of like a gel consistency. It absorbs really, really well into the skin. They sent it over along with their Revitalift ampules with hyaluronic acid and uh, a little bit of retinol. And I, I've been using both of them and I really like the combination. I don't know if I'll use the ampules after I am done with the samples, but I probably will continue to use this and I might even repurchase it just because the price difference is very significant. I really do love my Tatcha. I feel like my skin has been so much better since I have been using it. Always very nice, soft, and hydrated, but the L'Oreal so far is doing the same job. I can save a lot of money by using the L'Oreal one. And for my eyes, I've just been using the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. I've been using this for years and I love it and I still have a lot of samples left, so I've just been using that. That's pretty much my skincare uh, that I do before I put on makeup. Then I have my two Ipsy bags, which I have all of my essentials in here. So let's dig through those. So both bags are empty. I have put everything on my table here. First thing that I do is I put on a concealer and I have three that I have been using. I'm also going to be using my Tati Beauty palette because it has a ginormous mirror. Isn't this palette just absolutely breathtaking? I obviously don't use this on the everyday, but I am using it right now literally like I said just for the mirror. The three concealers that I have, and I've had them for, I've used them for forever. Some of them I probably should throw out, but I have the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in yellow. And this is really good to, to hide the dark circles under your eyes. I have the Flower Beauty Concealer, which I got two Decembers ago. And then I'm, I have a little bit left of my Maybelline Fit Concealer, which I only use because it's really light. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the NYX Yellow to hide these really bad under eye circles. Then I put on some of the Flower Beauty. And usually that's enough. If I need a little bit more coverage, then I'll add just a smidge of, of the Maybelline. So I have my L'Oreal makeup sponge and I just blend this out. And obviously it's gonna take me more than five minutes today because I am talking through everything. But if I literally don't talk, I can do this in five minutes. I do think I need a little bit more coverage, so I'm just gonna put a smidge of the Maybelline and that's it. 
I'm just gonna blend that out and then we'll go ahead and get started with powder. And I've been using the same powder pretty much since I was like 15. It's the MAC Studio Fix Complex uh, Powder Foundation. And I use the A75, which is one of their lightest ones. But literally, this is, I sometimes use this by itself if I don't have the dark circles, but. So now that I have powder all over my face, we're gonna go ahead and put on some bronzer and I have the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And this is what I use to do my contour and my bronzer. Put a little bit down the bridge of my nose. If I'm going to like an activity or something, I can do like really high and very formal makeup, which I love doing. Let me know if you want me to do some looks. I've been wanting to do some looks with the Tati palette. I just don't wear makeup that often, so it's such a waste. Okay, so that's pretty blended out. If you like mess up you can always go back with like your mac studio fix powder and just kind of like blend it out a little bit more if you want too dark so then we go on to blush which i have i use the tarte clay something clay blush uh or this clinique Blushing Blush Powder and Iced Lotus, which I got in a sample a long time ago. But I clean my brushes fairly often and disinfect them. I haven't been getting any blemishes or anything like that. We have all of that on. Now we are going to do highlight and I have the Smashbox Spotlight Palette in Pearl from Casey Holmes Collaboration. And this is the only highlight palette. I have a bunch of uh, samples from my Ipsy bags. That's that. So we're almost done, literally. So sometimes I grab a little bit of shadow or my bronzer or both. And then I carry just like, like a regular crease brush. And I can put on a little bit of color in my crease just to give my eye some dimension. You can use a pink, a brown, a color that is kind of light, but also helps to define your eyes. So I did the pink from Urban Decay. I'm gonna do just a little bit of the butter bronzer. So now that we have our whole face on, um, I normally don't do my brows for just like every day. I like them just the way that they are. I don't feel like I need to fill them in. Then I've been using the uh, Benefit Roller Lash. I just opened a new one because the other one was expired. So my uh, mascara fell and I stained my shirt, but it's okay, I'll survive. Um, so I did that and then you can leave it like this and just put it on a lip. I sometimes also use the Kiko uh, Crayon Kajal, Color Kajal Cold Pump Pencil in black. We're almost done, so now that that's ready, we can go ahead and put on a lip. I normally use like lip balm before I put on any color, but I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Nudist Peach. And then I'm gonna use an Ofra lip gloss. Ofra Madison Miller lip gloss, Smiley for Riley. This one I got in an Ipsy bag. I haven't used it yet. And that's it. 
This is my five minute everyday makeup. It literally takes me five minutes whenever I'm not talking through it and making sure that it's coming out okay on camera. It's very easy, you only need a handful of products. Usually, I used to carry a Victoria's Secret little makeup bag and everything would fit in there. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you would like to see more makeup videos from me if you wanna see maybe a Tati Beauty palette review or something like that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in my next video, guys. Mwah. Bye.